what's up and welcome to my channel i am so excited for today's video because i'm going to be doing the intro for the graveyard project pan i have been watching people do this project pan for like the past two years and every time i watched it i'm like i want to do this project pan so this year i'm finally doing it i am uploading my video later because i did sign up today which is may 1st and the intros came out like yesterday so yeah i am signing up later but you know what it's better late than never this was created by emily here on youtube i will put her video down below as well as her channel she is very nice she's very laid back and i like watching her video and so with this project pan there's like two categories of products the first category is collecting cobwebs it's basically products that have been sitting in your collection for a while and you haven't been using it up and then the second category is resurrection which is products that used to be in other project pans but you weren't able to like use them up or hit your goal so you bring them back in this project so, so that you're able to do that afterwards i do have six products here i believe it's five to ten items i do have six products in here and um half of them are resurrection the other half are collecting cobweb also this is a rolling project pan and it, it is bi-monthly updates like not bi-monthly but like every other month you do an update so there's only like three or four videos this is more of like a laid back type of project pan it's only six months long and it ends on halloween hence the theme graveyard project pan so anyways without further ado let me show you the products that i plan on panning so first i'm going to start with the collecting cobwebs category so i have this wet and wild lipstick this is in the shade breeze 531c and this is what it looks like it is a beautiful gorgeous color and it has like this metallic sheen onto it now i have this lipstick because years ago i don't remember how long it was i think maybe it was like three or four years ago there was this huge trend of like metallic lipsticks and i remember every single brand including like milani and nyx or even like Too Faced came up with these liquid lipsticks that were metallic and I went to go buy one but then I saw that Wet Wild had this because my mom bought this she bought two of these I was like oh this looks kind of metallic why should I spend 30 bucks on those when I can just have one of these and well lo and behold I never used this this has been sitting in my collection for a while so for this um, it does have quite a bit of product and I honestly don't think I could finish this up because I don't wear colors like this that often even as like in the middle to like make my lips look bigger or anything like that so for this I am gonna have a usage goal I'm gonna try to use it like 30 times and then afterwards I'll see if I maybe want to use it more or I'll just roll it out of this project pan but yeah that's what I plan on doing for this and the next item which is also in the collected cobwebs category is the SNARS eyeshadow this is in the shade Himalaya. It is a very beautiful taupey kind of shade. Now I'll be honest, I don't really wear colors like this that much. I was originally gonna try to hit pan on it. However, this is the only NARS eyeshadow I have. I don't know how deeply pressed the shadows are and I don't know how deep the pans are. So I'm not sure how long it's gonna take me. But for this, I'm also gonna do a usage goal. Um, I'm gonna try to use it at least 21 times because it is the year 2021. And after 21 times, I'm gonna see if I want to hit pan on it because right now I'm not sure because I don't wear colors like these that often and I don't know how like deep the pan is and tr to try to pan it in like a short amount of time. I don't know if I'll be able to do that. So I am gonna do a usage goal for now and then afterwards we'll see if I want to keep using it or if I wanna roll it out of the project. And next up is this like beauty oil this is from luna uh, this is from sunday riley this is their luna retinol sleeping night oil so i did use up some of it um so right now i'm about over here where it says like underneath luna so this is where i am at the moment my goal is to finish this up preferably by the first update as i mentioned this project is like a bi-monthly update so I we do updates every other month and I think by the first update I should finish this the thing is I don't use this on my face because I use well the skincare routine that I have now I cannot 
put any oils on my face so i'm gonna try to use this on my neck and my hands i have started to use this on my hands just like a tiny little drop just to give me some more moisture at night and it does give quite a bit of moisture so i do appreciate that so i am gonna try to use it on my hands and my neck and like try to finish it up that way because i cannot use it on my face so uh wish me luck i hope i finish this by the first update and next up we have a resurrection category so the first item is the sephora crayon contour eye pencil this is in the shade taupe let me give like a quick swatch over here it's like a taupey brown color that that is a terrible swatch let me do again okay oh now it looks black hmm that's weird anyways so i'm gonna try to finish this up i only have just a tiny bit left this was on my project pan last year i believe it was, it was in the project for like six months or something and i didn't finish it and i was really really bummed out that i didn't so i am gonna try to finish it up and i really hope that i finish this up like really soon or at least by halloween because that would be embarrassing if i put this in two project pans and it's not finished with just a little bit left so yeah and the next item is this occ cosmetics cruelty free cosmetic color pencil this basically this is their eyeliner this is in the shade anime and this is what it looks like it's a bright red type of color perfect for the summertime that's coming up my goal is to completely finish this up we shall see i am about over here and last year i tried finishing it up and i ended up not doing that so i am going to try to finish this up and i think this will be perfect for the summertime i did wear this as an eyeliner on one of my past youtube videos so i am going to try to do that as well and it's a very pretty color and the last item oh my god i am so nervous about this this is the sephora blush in the shade number one which is called shame on you so this is what the blush looks like please excuse my nails they look horrible i am well aware but yeah um there is just a tiny bit of dip going on now i am nervous having this in my project pan because this was in my project last year and it was in my project from january till december and i did not hit pan like at all and before my project pan last year this was pretty much the only blush that i had for like three or four years so the fact that i've had this for so long and have not hit pan on it makes me super nervous but i am going to put it in this project pan and hopefully just hopefully i'm able to hit pan on it because if i don't i will probably cry because this blush has lasted me so long if you want a blush that will last you years get the sephora 12 hour wait what is this called oh it doesn't have their name oh that sucks this is their like 12 hour blush and this is in the shade shame on you they come in like i believe 20 shades maybe even more but if you want a blush that will last you forever this blush is it all right that is it for the video thank you so much for watching I am so excited for this project pan and I'm really, really excited to see what kind of updates I make, how many roll-ins I'm going to do. So I'm super duper psyched about that. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!